Hi there, this is Mrs McTaggart and in this video we're going to look at rationalising surds and sometimes called rationalising the denominator. Now we all know denominator means the bottom number on a fraction. So what happens is we have questions that look like this and the question in the exam will say express the surd with a rational denominator. Sometimes it just says rationalise and then gives you a fraction. Basically, if you see this word rationalise, now sometimes it's spelt with a Z, the American way. If you see the word rationalise, it means they want you to get rid of the third on the bottom. They want rid of the square root. They want the bottom to be a rational number, i.e. a whole number. Okay, now the method to do this is really, really simple if you remember it. We times the top and bottom by whatever the third is that's already there. Because if you had to multiply top and bottom by the same thing, you still have an equivalent fraction. So because this one has a root 2 in the bottom, beside it, I write times root 2 times root 2. Because essentially root 2 over root 2 would just be 1. So I'm timesing it by an equivalent fraction to 1. But the nature of the times by root 2 helps undo the third. So the top line becomes 3 times root 2, so 3 root 2. And the bottom line, just for long sake, I'm going to show you the first one this way. Root 2 times root 2 becomes root 4, but we know the square root of 4 is just 2. So we have 3 root 2 all over 2. Now, that square root 2 and the 2 on the bottom cannot cancel down, although a lot of people think they can, because 1 is a square root of 2 or a third, and 1 is a whole number 2. We can't just cancel them out, okay? Think of it as being a letter term and a number. So that is us done. Final answer to that one. Second one, we're going to do this exact same. We're going to times the top and bottom by the third on the bottom. So we're going to times top and bottom by root 5, which gives us 2 root 5 over... Now, root 5 times root 5 is just root 25. The square root cancels out. It's just 5. So on that one, I've not put in this second line of working because we should get to a point at some point that, you know, times the third by itself just becomes the number underneath the square root. So there's two basic ones. Obviously, it's going to get harder because we will have to simplify at times. So let's have a look at my next two examples. Okay, number three already has a four on the bottom. So remember what my rule was, times top and bottom by the third. The third is the root three, so there's no point in times and by the four. You can, though. It just makes your numbers more complicated and gives you more to simplify. So we are just going to multiply by the third. So we're going to times top and bottom by root 3. Now that makes the top 3 root 3. And the bottom would be 4 times. Now remember, root 3 times root 3 is root 9, which is just 3. So 4 times 3. So what we have is 3 root 3 over 12. Now some simplifying is going to come in here. Now all you can simplify is the number at the front of the third. You can't do anything with the root 3. The 3 and the 12 both divide by 3. So that gives you 1 on the top, but we don't write it, over 4. So just root 3 over 4. What I've essentially done is cancel down that 3 and that 12 to give you a 4 in the bottom. Let's have a look at the next one. So we've got 2 over root 12. So I'm going to times top and bottom by root 12 which gives us 2 root 12 all over root 144, which is just 12. Now, similar to before, that 2 and the 12 can cancel, leaving me root 12 all over 6. But eagle-eyed pupils might spot, wait a minute, 12 is one of those thirds that can simplify. So I'm now going to go simplify the 12 and say, well, that's root 4 root 3. So I've now got 2 root 3 all over 6. Simplify the 2 and the 6. Well, that gives me root 3 over 3. Now, what you could have done in this one is we could have simplified the root 12 first of all and ended up with a 2 root 3 on the bottom and then multiply top and bottom by root 3. I've said before, thirds can be done more than one way. Now, that's basically covered the types of examples you will see at National 5. Um, I hope this has helped. Thanks very much.